Dr. Basila again from India. We hope that you are all watching a sermon every month. We are keeping a sermon in the net every month. Last month we kept the sermon the healing and the salvation. And this month message title goes like this. Turn the whole world towards Jesus. Turn the whole world towards Jesus. We have to bring the whole world to the Jesus. Because God's desire, no one should perish. God's desire is everyone must go to the heaven. For that reason, all the way from heaven, Jesus came to the earth in the form of human and crucified and shed his blood to save the whole mankind. So, it is uh, God's desire that the whole world should turn towards Jesus. Jesus means, you know, Savior, the one who saves people from their sins. Here, if you go through John 16:21, a woman gives birth pains to give birth to a child. To give birth to a child, a woman must give a pains. If you go through Isaiah 66, 7 and 8, the pains of one day, the birth pains of one day cannot save the nation. So one has to give birth pains to every day to turn the nation, to turn the world towards Jesus. If you go through the Acts 12, the church gave the pains to pray for the release of Peter from the prison. The painful prayers brought Peter out of the jail. What for these pains we have to give? Pains to save the mankind. Pains in the prayer. There is a saying, no pain, no gain. So if you want to gain the people towards Jesus, you have to give the pains. So it is a question to every believer in the world, how much pains we are giving towards the perishing souls? How much pains we are giving the prayer to bring the people towards Jesus? Christ God, TVs and radios, they are doing a lot of ministry. They are reaching a lot of people. But there is another way to raise the people. Jesus told the disciples, From this day onwards, I will make you the fishers of men. So, we have to raise the people with the gospel. It is very easy to turn the whole world towards Jesus. Televisions and radios, they are doing their part. And besides that, it is a, a challenge to the whole believers in the world. I'm not talking about the nominal Christians who are attending the church. A nominal Christian is worse than anybody on the face of the earth. I'm talking to the believers, one who tasted the Jesus as a personal Savior and the Lord and God. I'm talking to the believers. Each believer in the world Catch one for the Jesus, the whole world will become Christian world very, very easy. It's okay that the TVs and radios doing their part. The larger meetings, the campaigns, the crusades, and the speakers and evangelists, they're doing their job. I'm talking to individual. I'm talking to every believer on the face of the earth. Each one, catch one. Go to your neighbor, go to your friends, go to your relatives, share the gospel and share the joy you have received through Jesus and tell them about the heaven and tell them how they will go to the heaven and if each one catch one, as Jesus said, I make you the fishes of man, the only ever believer in the world, I'm talking to a believers, please listen carefully. If you reach one person a day, you can reach the whole world with a gospel. Why? Why do you have to reach people? 
Why we have to share this gospel to the people? Why we need to turn the whole world towards Jesus? The gospel preached around the world and the uh, end will come. We are the lost generation. The whole world is going to end with us. So it is a burden to share this gospel to the entire world. So the easy way to raise the people, each one, catch one. Give the pains, but pains, to give the birth of someone in Jesus. If every believer goes to individuals, each person, the whole world will turn towards Jesus. This is the message of today. So, don't leave the burden on the evangelists and don't think the TV is reaching people. And there are many places where they have no television still today. And there are many places where there are no radio still today. And the longest problem is there. Many people cannot understand English. There are a lot of countries that they don't speak English even till today. So the TVs are going in English. And some, very few TVs are going with their long messages. So, I'm not denying the TV ministry. I'm not denying the radio ministry. I'm encouraging the believers. Please, it pains to the body of the people in Jesus. Please give pains in prayer. Pray for the people. And I, once again I'm telling this slogan, each one catch one. That's what we are doing in our church. That's what we are doing in our church. We started our church with 15 people. And I told my people, each one catch one. Now we have 800 Sunday school children. Our Sunday school is the biggest Sunday school in this city. The biggest churches here having only 150, 200 Sunday school children. But where we have no church building, we have no permanent church building, we hide a building and we are only in the church there. But we talk to our people, each one, catch one. The young people are going to the mix of the people and sharing this gospel. And we have 800 children. The church, we started with 15 members. In and around, we have around 5,000 people now. So our desire is to reach at least 50,000 people from outside. If every believer reach people in tens, thousands, and hundreds, you will reach the whole world with the gospel. We can turn the whole world towards Jesus. It is a pain, it is a burden to turn the people towards Jesus. Otherwise, our own relatives, our own family people, our own friends, they'll go to the hell, where they have to live forever and ever in the hell. So it is not our desire. I'm talking about the believers. It's not our desire. It's not God's desire, someone to go to hell. It's a God's desire to all the mankind must go to the heaven and live with him forever and ever. So once again, I'm telling all the believers of the world, go and meet somebody. Each one, catch one. There's the easiest way, fastest way to turn the whole world towards Jesus. May God bless you with his words and you can do right to us and you can share your thoughts with us. We want to share our heart to the people. It is not that we want to preach something which is not helpful to anybody and to ourselves. We want to share our burden, hurt to the people to evangelize whole the world. May God bless you. Visit our website, victorsministry.com. With this video, we have 178 videos. Please watch them and write to them. You can visit our country. You can visit our mission. You can visit our church anytime to share your heart and share your testimony. May God bless you. We are praying for you. Do pray for us. We love you. We love you. We love you.